In this video, we will solve a problem that was asked by a brother Faisal Khan on Telegram channel of Econ Maths. The question is, given supply and demand function is as P is equal to Q square plus 10Q uh, plus 22. This is our uh, supply function. And similarly, P is equal to minus Q square minus 10Q plus 150 is our demand function. Q denotes uh, the output and P denotes the price. We have to calculate equilibrium price and quantity. Okay. Now, uh, you know that equilibrium occurs where demand and supply curves intersect. Okay. But here you can see we have two quadratic uh, functions. Okay. So the graph will now uh, the graph will the graph would not be a uh, you know a straight line. Rather, let me first try to explain how the graph will look like okay so we know at equilibrium uh, at equilibrium at equilibrium supply should be equal to supply should be equal to demand that means quantity supplied should be equal to quantity demanded okay and what exactly is our supply function this is our supply function so this will be a quadratic type uh, you know curve so let's say we have quantity on the horizontal axis price on the vertical axis uh, in the supply function since the coefficient of uh, you know q square is positive so it will be uh, you know uh, the graph will look like this okay and by the same logic since the coefficient of q square uh, you know is negative here um, the graph uh, for this demand function uh, will uh, look like this okay so i'm not sure i cannot trace it perfectly here so just an idea i was trying to give you so this will be our let's be precise here this is our demand function and this will be our supply function okay simple thing if you want to see whether uh, the graph of a quadratic function looks you know uh, uh, you know concave or convex just look at the coefficient of x square or the variable uh, where the power is you know two if it is positive that it will be a convex kind of function if the coefficient is negative it will be a concave kind of function okay so at equilibrium we know supply is equal to demand so uh, this is our supply function this is our demand function since we have p on the same side since lhs is same here we can equate the rhs that means this is our supply function that is q square plus 14 q uh, plus 22 should be equal to the demand function that is minus q square minus 10 q plus 150 okay so solving let's transpose this minus q square here it will become plus q square so it will become q square plus q square then we have here 14 q 14 q transposing this negative 10 it will become plus 10 q plus we have 22 transposing this uh, plus 150 it will become minus 150 here and set it equal to zero okay then simple thing q square q square is 2 q square plus 14 plus 10 is, since they are the same terms we can add them up this, so this is, comes out to be 24 q uh, so this is uh, 1 uh, minus 1 28 i guess and let's equate it 0 now we have a standard quadratic equation so let's do one thing let's take two common since we can factor out two here so let's take two common we have q square uh, plus here it will be 12 or for the sake of simplicity let us divide both sides by two okay to make the things easier so if we divide two here we have to divide to every term so two to why I am doing this simply to make the coefficient of q square you know positive so 2 and 2 gets cancelled we are left with q square 
uh, plus here it will be 12 q minus this is 2 6 or 12 uh, 2 4 or 8 so 0 upon 2 is 0 now this is a standard quadratic equation we can factor this out and let's uh, do one thing we can do one thing we have to find out the two numbers in such a way that their sum should be equal to the coefficient of middle term that is 12 and the same number same numbers should give us a product which is equal to minus 64 okay so let's uh, try and guess this out so if we put here you know uh, if we put here so 8 years are 60 or to be sure this will not be so let's take a uh, 16 and minus 4 so 16 minus 4 comes out to be 12 and uh, 16 into minus 4 will come out to be minus 64 okay so simple thing let me write it here so in place of q i will write q square as it is so we have q square plus in place of 12q i can write uh, 16q minus 4q uh, plus in place of minus 64 i can write 16 into minus 4 this is the basic mathematics i guess you know it very well should be equal to 0 let's take q common from the first two terms so we have q we are left with q plus 16 and let's take minus 4 common from the last second uh, from the last two terms so we have minus 4 here we are left with q plus 16 and set it equal to 0 now let's take q plus 16 common if we take this q plus 16 q plus 16 common we are left with q minus 4 and set it equal to 0 this means either this uh, term is equal to 0 or this term is equal to 0 that means let us be very clear here and let me write it here that means either q plus 16 is equal to 0 or uh, q minus 4 is equal to 0 if q plus 16 is equal to 0 it implies q is equal to minus 16 we got a negative quantity which is not plausible and here q if it is equal to q minus 4 is equal to 0 that gives us q is equal to positive 4 this seems plausible one so on graph what exactly does this mean so on graph when demand and supply curves intersect they intersect at two points where quantity is equal to 4 and where quantity is equal to six, negative 16 okay so we ignore the negative quantity and take the positive quantity into consideration that means our equilibrium quantity will be 4 and corresponding to this equilibrium quantity what will be our equilibrium price simple thing plus q is equal to 4 either in demand or in supply function so let's take it into supply function that means our equilibrium price will be equal to so q square in place of q square we have 4 square okay so 4 square seems you know uh, knowing thing so we have 14 in place of q again we have 4 uh, plus 22 that gives us p is equal to 4 4 are 16 plus 12 so that way at over to be shunza that comes out to be so shes gay or shag is so the pawns with sata gay or again now that means our equilibrium price will be equal to 94 okay so I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.